Hello everyone. Today we will see what are the English taught courses in University of Florence, how to check the details of each course, and finally how to do your application. Now let me describe a little about University of Florence. University of Florence is known by its Italian name, Università degli Studi di Firenze. In short, we can say Uni FI. It is an Italian public research university which is located in Florence, Italy. It is considered as one of the oldest university in the world because it was established in the year 1321 which is 702 years ago. So now let's begin the application. For that, go to any search engine, then type apply University of Florence. Now, if you see the first link where apply.unifi.it is written, click on that. Okay. As I am doing the application from Italy, it is showing Italy as my default citizenship. But you choose your citizenship according to your country. Now I am typing India as my India is my citizenship. Now you can see this page. Now select here graduate undergraduate courses. Now search, then you can see 11 courses are available for us. So here you can see the deadlines, then you can select the courses according to your choice. Now for more details, you click on the more information. Now once you click on more information, a page will pop out where you can see the language requirements, the application fees, the reference which you need to submit. And then if you need more details, click on the link, then you will go to the course link where you can see all the details of the course then if you want to see the subjects click on the courses and list of the courses where you can see all the subjects available in the course so this is how you can check a course details in the website now go back to the previous page click on apply now in your preferred course the moment you click on apply now you can see here i am a new applicant click here to register with your email ID. click on that then view your email ID, then click on register. Now there will be a code, you just need to remember the code. Now go to your previous email where which you have given to register. Now here you can see the email where it is written click to register. So click on that, then you have to give your details like your name which should match your passport full name okay. then give a password then click on register now you can see your full name and your email id and your citizenship then you click on i agree to terms of conditions then click on continue See, now again, search for the course which you are applying. So, I am applying in Geoengineering, so I am selecting Geoengineering. So, now, once you click on Geoengineering Apply Now, so if you want to add another course, then again you can add the course and do the same process. The moment you go to a profile, check your name and surname, which might be correct sometimes written automatically. If not, change it according to your name and surname. Then do the gender, citizenship, country of residence, and then pass the passport details, number, issue date, expiry date, and skip the ID card part. It is for Italians. Give the birth details, date of birth, country of birth, and place of birth. Then save as draft, then go to your contacts, give the contact details, email ID is already there, then give the address, city, country, then give your telephone number, which will be starting with plus 91, not with 0091, then save as draft, then go to education, 
then here if you see please enter only the information about your university education is written so don't give any high school details here so you just give university details which is bachelor's degree select bachelor's degree country india then with the course a language which is english then official university name give your university name then class then give your institute name which is college name then give your program name for me it is mechanical engineering i wrote mechanical engineering then give the degree name which is for me degree in bachelor of technology in mechanical engineering then give the diploma issued date then save as draft then go to languages give your native language for me it is urdu then give a foreign language i'm giving here english then if the proof of certificate is ielts or something give that if not select others if you have medium of instruction then select the proficiency then for me my studies complete studies was in english from my schooling so i gave 16 If your bachelor's is only in English, then give here four. Now go to references. Here give your referee name. You have to give referee's full name. Then give the email ID of the referee, and here here ask for a reference. Now when you hit this button, your referee will get an email. so he has to fill the details in that email and he has to send it back till then here it will be written referee noted inserted now go to motivation now in motivation section you give a short brief about yourself about your projects you did in bachelors why you want to choose this course why you want to go to this university and you mention very short points and very straight points and it should be very clear so you have to mention only 350 words to 700 words not more than that and it is optional now we'll go to document section here you can see the requirements according to the checklist scan the only original documents not the xerox while uploading so before that we will go to others then here we will give the medical info if there is anything if not then we will give information source from where you got the information i gave internet search now we'll go to checklist in the in checklist you can see there is proof of application once you make the payment here the pay paid option will be popped out so once you get that option you can select that option and give the fee receipt over here so i will show you the payment method in the end now we will go to proof of english language certification so here it is clearly mentioned the certificate is not required in case of your previous academic degree is in english language so if this is the case still in my bachelor's the minimum of instruction was in english so if you see now here the l1 means we need to take attention if the tick mark means everything is perfect upload your bachelor's documents then here in the translation of documents if your language of document is in english then you don't need to upload anything over here you have to just select the original documents are in accepted language one reference section so you have to select i have asked for reference section the green submit your reference after that go to passport upload your passport here then once you upload the passport then you have to select i have attachment passport so after that you go to syllabus in syllabus if you don't have a syllabus with you then you can select i don't have a syllabus but if you have your syllabus in your university portal or your college once everything is done then click on submit so once you click on submit if there are any errors in your application it will look at highlighted this so then go to that specific sections and fill in the details properly so once everything is filled then again go to the checklist then in checklist if everything is tick only then you can submit the application now to make the application c payment you go to your email if you see in the email there will be a mail where it will be written complete your application you click on that then you can see to complete your application you are required to pay an application fee of 20 euros to proceed with the payment 
please click on pay by credit card so just click on that so once you click on that there will be a page which will be open so there since you don't have codice fiscale so here you need to type anonymity okay as mentioned here so to see that you just translate it you will understand what is written over here so just translate to english see if you translate to english then you can see it is mandatory of tax id for person to make you if you don't have the travel id tax id you can enter anonymous but don't copy the english words if you copy the singlish word then it will show an error so again you translate to italian then copy this anonymous like this then paste it in the place of codex fiscale so once you give that then give your email id then confirm your email id now go to pagopa here you have to click on the first one not on the second one because the second one you see a pdf but the first one if you click on that then it will be this will be open in this here you can make the direct payment here give your email id then press continue then scroll down all the terms and conditions now continue So here select card and the credit card, which means credit card. Give your name, surname, then card number, all the details. Before giving this, you just switch on your international transactions. You are credit or debit. Once you fill in the details, press continue, then confirm the payment. I hope everyone find this video useful. If you have any doubt, you can comment below. Please do subscribe. See you. Bye bye.